Hi, I'm Nick Gillespie with Reason TV, and we are in Las Vegas at Freedom Fest, and we're talking to Donald Smith, a Reason contributor, but also a investor extraordinaire. Don, thanks for talking to us. My pleasure. Don, all we hear about now are apocalyptic scenarios, uh, you know, and that's coming from the Treasury Secretary saying if we don't raise the debt limit by August 2nd, we're toast. He's sounding a lot like the previous Treasury Secretary said right. if we didn't pass TARP over a long weekend, we were toast. How bad is the current economic situation when we have a government that is massively in debt, where we have markets that are tumbling? Are things as bad as uh, we seem to keep hearing on the news? I don't think so, at least not in the United States. Um, you know, uh, a lot of this is, is actually healthy. For the first time, we're talking about debt. And we're t talking about doing something. So a lot of the stuff, the fact that we're just talking about the problem, and maybe we're going to kick the can down the road a little ways, but, you know, Greece was a wake-up call to all of us, and I think uh, uh, politicians know it, and so hopefully something will be done. But even if it's not done near term, um, you know, I'm pretty constructive on... Uh, some cheap value stocks because where else are people going to put their money? Uh, it's really the it's the best of uh, a lot of part alternatives, which I consider, you know, uh, uh, commodities look like they're in a, a topping action. Bonds, the government bonds, are looks like they've been uh, in a in a boom and uh, could be topping out. So uh, there's a lot of money out there, and it's you know money market funds are yielding nothing. There's uh, over 1.5 trillion dollars in money market funds. If anything, you might even worry about money market funds if Europe goes down. That you know, some of the, the, the money markets may break the buck again. And you got the a lot of money in um, municipals, and, and that's a, a concern. So uh, it seems like stocks are the place to be. And you're kind of bullish about the future, though. Do you think it's likely that the government, uh, you know, the U.S. federal government, is actually going to? Take it, uh, take its size and scope down to uh, you know to a point where in the near future it's actually only spending what it brings in that it tackles deficit debt, things like that. Um, or is it just something that we will try and build some kind of workaround on? Yeah, I think it's just we're trying to figure out ways to kick the can down the road, and then some countries can't do it any longer, like Greece and maybe Spain, and you know, got on the list, Ireland, and um, so relative to them, we probably look okay, you know, and. Uh, we can postpone it for a while, but any little movement, I think, toward solving the problem, the markets would view favorably. What do you think is most likely? Will there be some kind of debt limit deal that is not just for the current moment, but you know, over the next couple of years in terms of budgets? And will, is that the type of signal that markets need to kind of settle down and get on with business? Well, I think a market would have loved a four billion dollar, uh, you know, four trillion dollar <laughs> complete uh, package, and we're not going to see it. I think it's going to be probably disappointing to the market near term that they just come up with a a trillion dollar deal or not even that and they just give if they give the president authority to raise it on their own I mean that's really kicking the can down the road and I think the market could sell off pretty strong on that and we're due for a sell off anyway so you know near term I'm pretty cautious on the market I'm just saying that there's really no alternatives eventually money's got to come out of Benaki's forcing people to take risk which they probably shouldn't but you know if you can't make any money on a money market account or a short-term bonds where else are you gonna go You've been a uh, libertarian for a long time. How did you get interested in kind of free markets and uh, personal individual liberty? Uh, I went to a seminar in 92 and heard some libertarians speak. And uh, I was always a little confused. Uh, I didn't really like what the Republicans were saying. I didn't like the Democrats. And uh, all of a sudden they said, you know, this is the way we think the world works. And it made all the sense in the world. And I don't understand why everyone isn't a libertarian. Yeah, I, I wish I knew the answer to that. <laughs> Don Smith, I want to thank you very much for talking to Reason okay. TV at Freedom Fest in Las Vegas. Thank you. <laughs>